opposite direction where now we're working on internal rotation. He's more or less, if he's doing it correctly, going to get a lot of oblique activation. And earning that internal rotation in a proper context, he could literally hang up at that high hip extension and really create that proper whip necessary to deliver a very good solid roundhouse or a solid knee. Where it's coming and directing its force properly to the hip and you're able to follow through. It's also going to, again, alleviate the likeliness of him overusing knee torque or lower back torque where he can end up with an injury in the knee, the groin, or the lower back cohesively. So working on this particular pattern in short pace where he's earning intentional and when he gets out to that side position, go ahead and try that now. When he's getting here, he's going to try to tip the knee inward while it's trying to get it a little bit higher in where the calf ends up at a higher profile than the knee. He's going to get more from it. And again, he's going to focus on not rotating over as much. He's going to keep it more or less down the center. You can probably feel his glutes and his obliques firing off at all cylinders here. Lots of work being done in those areas. Time under tension is imperative to creating a change or stimulus of change into the body. But we're, again, removing crazy impact. A great way to actively recover and improve his intensive workouts.